Buddha was once born as a great king, Mahasudasana, ruling over many cities. On a particular day, he was sitting on a bed made of seven kind of jewels with the intention of never getting up again. Seeing him sitting like this, his wife, Queen Subhadda, said, My lord, there are these 84,000 cities that need to be conquered, and here you sit, laying on bed with no worry at all. Mahasudasana then replied, Do not say this, queen, but advise me rather to give up my desire for this, and do not have longing. Why is this? the queen asked. To which Mahasudasana replied, Because today I am to die. Hearing his word, the queen started weeping. The other 84,000 wives joined her and cried and grieved together. The ministers and guards also couldn't endure it, and so they all wept too. The Bodhisattva, seeing all this, said, Enough! Do not make this noise. Addressing the queen, he said, Do not cry and grieve, O my queen. Even something as little as the fruit of a sisum tree has to die and is not permanent. All the things in this universe are impermanent and subject to destruction. So he gave advice to the queen and spoke the following verse. Impermanent indeed are conditioned things, for they partake in birth and old age. What arises, ceases. Happy is the calming of these things. Saying this, he passed away. The enlightened Buddha narrated this particular Jataka when two of his chief disciples had objected to Buddha when he expressed his desire to go to a particular village of Kusinara. They told him that the highly exalted one shouldn't enter this rough, insignificant little village in the back of beyond, and instead move to other great cities such as Rajagaha. The teacher then replied saying, Do not say, Ananda, that this is an insignificant village, a jungle village, a village in the back of beyond. I once ruled this town as a great king Mahasudasana, and this city that you say insignificant had thousands of cities with many jewels. Nothing is permanent in this ever-changing world. Comment and subscribe for more such interesting stories.